Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I'm Alex Granados, reporter for Education NC, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about what happened this week at the General Assembly and elsewhere. Here at the General Assembly, it's been a little quiet. The House budget passed last week, and a few weeks back, the Senate budget passed, which means that this week, legislators have been meeting behind closed doors in conference to hash out their differences and hopefully come out with a compromise budget. Uh, from what I've heard, they're gonna be working through this week, maybe straight through the weekend, and maybe we'll have a compromise next week. Unclear, but when they're done, we will have a compromise. At that point, the budget has to pass the House, it has to pass the Senate, and then it goes on to the governor for his signature. And other, other news this week, if you've been on our website, Education NC, you have seen our series on ACEs. ACEs are adverse childhood experiences or adverse childhood events. These are events, uh, often traumatic, that happen in the lives of young children and can affect their ability to learn later in life. And so the hope that many uh, researchers and experts have is that by giving teachers the proper understanding, the proper training, the proper skill, they can help mitigate uh, the consequences of some of those uh, traumatic events and help them be better able to learn. Uh, you can see more on that series on our website at nc.org. You can also follow us on Twitter or on face Facebook. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter at a And uh, tune in next week to find out uh, what's going on around here at the General Assembly and around the state. Thank you.